Nandito na sa Pilipinas ang pinakabagong BlackBerry smartphone. Ano nga ba ito? NC Cloud Phone. Meron silang in-announce na tablet before and now available na ito. Ano nga ba itong smartphone na ito? NC Cherry Mobile. Ano nga ba ang pinakamurang player smartphone na in-announce this week? Hey guys, it's November 30, Sunday. I'm Jam of Jerome and Chattel.com and this is Jam Online TV. So dito muna tayo sa BlackBerry Passport, ang pinakabagong smartphone ni BlackBerry. So interesting ito kasi itong smartphone na to ay merong size na ka size ng passport. Basically kaya tinawag siyang BlackBerry Passport. So bakit siya ka size ng passport? Well, pagdating sa typing and sa keyboard layout, walang tatalo sa BlackBerry. Sobrang sarap mag-type dito sa BlackBerry Passport. For before yon, um specs muna tayo. So the BlackBerry Passport has a uh, 2.26 quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor it has a 3 gigs of RAM medyo odd yung kanyang display which is a 4.5 inch uh, IPS display um, and it has a resolution na uh, 1440 by 1440 so it's a square display and uh, it's protected by Gorilla Glass 3 um, so there's a 32 gig of internal storage but of course it, ex it is expandable up to uh, 128 gig pero ay daw na gagamit ka ng 128 gig. Um, there's a 13 megapixel rear camera with OIS and there's a 2 megapixel front camera. Of course, there's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and uh, LTE dito sa smartphone na to. Um, it's powered by BlackBerry 10.3 operating system and um, there's a 3,450 milliamps of battery. Ang interesting dito is of course yung kanyang keyboard. So basically, meron tayong QWERTY keyboard dito pero meron siyang uh, touch sensitive yung kanyang keyboard. I forgot the term kung ano tawag doon pero um, pwede nyo swipe up uh, doon sa keyboard sa mga keyword suggestion. There's a three sections doon sa keyboard and doon sa three sections na yun. If dumabas doon yung keyword suggestion sa section na yun, you just have to swipe up from the keyboard and automatically yun ay lalabas sa keyboard. Actually, ang sarap gamitin ng BlackBerry uh, Passport for typing and of course ang email. Um, Um, huwag kayo mong problema sa application sa BlackBerry Passport kasi the BlackBerry uh, OS, 10.3 OS, uh, supports um, Android applications like um, Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter of course pero meron naman silang uh, built-in app, meron silang native applications for BlackBerry for that. Pero if you need some, um, well, your Android applications, hindi kayo mong problema kasi it would probably work on your BlackBerry Passport pero if we are talking about games, Um, mga problema kayo kasi medyo hindi optimize yung mga resolution ng games ng Android dun sa squared uh, display ng, ng BlackBerry. So again, ang mga problema kayo dito is yung kanya size. Yes, madaling mag-type sa BlackBerry Passport. Masarap gamitin ang BlackBerry Passport if you're into email and messaging. Pero ang problema niyo sa BlackBerry Passport is since ang size niya isang, uh, isang passport, kasi size niya isang passport, kung problema kayo when you're using the uh, smartphone, using your uh, using one hand lang. So, I recommend na um, sa mga BlackBerry, na um, uh, bibili ng BlackBerry Passport, siguraduhin nyo na ang gamit nyo is two hands and not one hand. So, the BlackBerry Passport is now available for uh, 36, uh, sorry, 35,790 uh, and it will be available also on Globe and Smart. So, medyo steep siya. And again, para sa akin, ang BlackBerry Passport is not for everybody. Uh, the BlackBerry Passport is for people na who are into messaging, into email, and security. Sobrang ganda na security ng BlackBerry uh, Passport. So, um, dito na tayo sa next one. The Cloud Phone Trail 600 um, FHD. So, again, from the name itself, um, it's a 6-inch na tablet with a full HD display. Ang interesting dito is uh, meron siyang octa-core processor na 1.7 GHz um, uh, MT6592 sa mga hindi nakakalam. Um, it has a 6-inch full HD IPS display na may Dragon Trail Glass. So, it's not Gorilla Glass, pero Dragon Trail, um, para sa akin, okay na yung protection ng Dragon Trail na binibigyan ng Dragon Trail. Napaka-okay na sa akin na net. Considering meron sa 6-inch full HD display, napakaganda siguro ang display nito. Sarap maglaro, sarap panood ng movies. So, meron siyang 32 gig of internal storage. Um, it's not expandable, unfortunately, but there's 2 gigs of RAM. Para sa mga games yun, applications na medyo um, demanding. There's a 13 megapixel. Well, dito kami madi-disappoint. 
full, uh, fixed focus yung camera niya. It's not auto focus. So, of course, there's a LED flash. And yung maganda naman dito, para bumawi, meron siyang 8 megapixel front camera with um, LED flash. So, yun yung maganda doon. Meron siyang front uh, uh, camera na may 8 megapixel front 8 megapixel camera and meron siyang LED flash and then meron din siyang USB OTG and meron na rin finally dito na NFC yes, wala pong uh, LTE unfortunately uh, pero this one is powered by Android 4.4 KitKat and medyo malaki yung battery niya at 3000 milliamps para sa akin okay itong cloud phone uh, 600 FHD cloud phone Trill 600 FHD I'm sorry, don't forget the Trill kasi yun yung kanilang line ng mga smartphones na medyo from mid-range to to um, mga high-end the smartphones. And this one, this is a tablet na may octa-core processor na meron 32 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM, and uh, well, meron siyang magandang uh, USB OTG, maganda feature of course, and NFC na type na type po NFC. So, ito lang kasi you can use applications, I mean, hardware, uh, like Bluetooth speakers na may NFC, mas madali mag-connect. So, the Cloud Phone Trill 600 Full HD or FHD is now, uh, will be available for 13,899. For me, that's not bad. 14,000, you get a 32 gigs of storage, you'll get an octa-core processor, there's a 6-inch full HD display. There's NFC. And unfortunately, medyo, medyo disappointed din lagi ako dun sa 13 megapixel fixed focus camera. Pero again, 32 gigs of storage, 3,000 milliamps of battery, Android 4.4 KitKat, octa processor, 6-inch full HD. Again, 6-inch full HD and 6-inch inch full HD. Nabubulol na ako pero it's a full HD, 6-inch, and it's 4,000 pesos. Not that bad for considering na maganda na may specs niya. So para sa akin, I would recommend this one if you want a... Uh, um, a smartphone with big storage, internal storage, and uh, probably the battery is uh, probably good at 3000 milliamps and unibody ito so medyo siguro maganda to. Hopefully magkamera tayo review unit and medyo interesting tong cloud phone Trill FHD. So dito na tayo sa last one, yung pinaka affordable na Cherry Mobile Flare smartphone. So ano nga ba ito? It's the Cherry Mobile Flare Lite. So the Cherry Mobile Flare Lite is a, um, a smartphone na mayroong 1 gigahertz uh, dual core processor probably uh, MT6572 kasi meron siyang Mali 400 GPU so there's a 4 inch na capacitive display um, hindi na mention whether WVGA or QHD or whatever probably it's a WVGA na display um, there's a 4 gig of internal storage with uh, it is expandable up to 64 gig um, there's a 5 megapixel rear camera, 2 megapixel front camera, there's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, dual SIMs powered by Android 4.4 KitKat, and it's available in red, pink, blue, black, yellow, white, and green. So, this is the af most affordable na Flare smartphone. So, currently we have the Cherry Mobile Flare 3 and Flare SD which is priced at 4,000 pesos. So, this one, the Cherry Mobile Flare Lite is priced at... Um, 2,699 pesos. Not that bad considering na meron tayong ganito specs. I mean, don't expect na quad-core processor uh, sa smartphone na to. We have a 2,699 pesos na budget and you're expecting a quad-core processor? Come on guys, be realistic. Probably if you want a uh, uh, quad-core smartphone, uh, siguro doon kayo sa 3,000 to 3,500 pesos na range. Pero medyo malapit nga dito. Pero again, 2,699 to. Don't expect a quad-core uh, smartphone dito sa presyo na to. And again, maganda to kasi marami siyang, um, marami siyang colors. We have red, pink, blue, black, yellow, white, and green. So, a smartphone na to is not for power users. I mean, para sa mga smartphone users na who are into um, web browsing, Facebook, Twitter, pero not for people na who love heavy games, um, heavy applications. Pero again, if you just want uh, a smartphone na medyo chill lang and hindi heavy, probably, um, magugustuhan nyo yung Cherry Mobile Flare Lite. Again, wala na tayong mga um, wala tayong um, details about other specifications like milliamps of battery and RAM pero probably the RAM would be a 512 MB and hopefully ma malaman natin yung full data soon and interesting uh, ang Cherry Mobile Flare Lite. Again, it's not for everybody pero it's a very affordable so abot kaya to ng lahat. So yeah, I guess that's it for this week's uh, Jam Online TV. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, mag-subscribe na po kayo. So don't forget to check out my channel at bit.ly slash Jam Online TV. So makikita niyo po yung link sa baba. 
Hopefully, na tapos pa yes, pang kita nyo po dito. Bitly slash Jam Online TV. So, huwag nyo po kalimutan bisitahin yun. So, meron pa ba akong nakalimutan? So, titignan ko yung script ko dito. And, yun. So, para sa mga latest news, sabi ko sa script dito, para sa mga latest tech news, hands-on, and other techy stuff. So, visit my website. No, yeah. Visit my website and subscribe to my channel. Which is my YouTube channel, Bitly slash Jam Online TV. So, yeah. I guess that's it for this week. So, once again, I'm JamGermanChat.com and thanks for watching Jam Online TV. So see you guys again next week or probably some of my next hands-on talk.